Hey guys, Marco the Dog Trainer here. Today we're going to be doing a video on picking out the perfect crate for your puppy. Now, when it comes to picking out a crate for a puppy, there's really one main thing that we need to be thinking about is we don't want the crate to be too big, okay? Because for puppies, a lot of times that's going to lead to potty training issues. So there's kind of two different routes that people are going to take to kind of combat that issue. Okay, so the first route is probably the more common route is that, you know, most people I'm going to tell them, you want to buy whatever crate your dog is going to need as an adult. Okay, so let's just say our, you know, this is going to be the right size for our adult dog. Well, now again, this is going to be too big for a puppy. So we just need to get creative and find some kind of way to add a divider in here you know, maybe milk crates or a plastic lid with zip ties. I mean, we might have to get a little creative, but that's how you're going to make that space a little bit smaller. And as your puppy is developing and getting bigger, we can slowly make the crate bigger until they're ready for the kind of full crate. Okay. Now that's probably the most common route that people are going to take. Now, the second route is just not really as economical, but I've definitely seen it make sense in some situations. But the other route that we can take is that we can buy different crates depending on, you know, um, our dog's development. So maybe when they're eight weeks old, we're starting with this really, really tiny one. And when they're four or five months, we're moving them into this one. And when they're a year old, we're moving them into this one. So Again, not quite as economical, but if you're going to have a lot of different dogs and you're going to end up using these crates for other things, it might actually make sense to do that. Now, again, as a dog trainer, I just have a bunch of different crates. So it kind of worked out for me that I can do that. Now, um, so those are really the two different routes that people are going to take to make sure that the crate isn't too big for their puppy. Now, um, like I've talked about in the past in like other videos, my personal preference is always going to be the Petmate Sky Kennels, these plastic ones. And that's really my top recommendation. But if there's one advantage to wire crates over plastic crates, it's that they come with a divider that is like perfectly fit and very easy to adjust. So most wire crates, it comes with like a little wall that you just kind of lock it in there. And anytime you need to, you can just pull it out and move it back. So that is one major advantage uh, to the wire crates is that you can definitely adjust the size of the crate a little bit easier. Now, again, the puppy phase is a pretty short phase of a dog's life. So do I necessarily think that, that you know, it justifies getting the wire crate over the plastic crate? Not necessarily, but, uh, but again, I'm just trying to give you guys food for thought so you can kind of pick out the, the right route for you guys. Now, I'm going to put um, recommendations for plastic and wire in the description. So if you're interested in either or, you know, feel free to uh, check out the links there. And um, I'll also link up some of my other videos about wire crates so that way um, you can kind of figure out everything that you need to know there. Now, Let's just talk about um, the quick, you know, size recommendations here before we wrap up. So um, this, these two here we'll consider kind of our small dog crates. Again, depending on what route you're taking, maybe we're just going to start our puppy in these, or maybe our dog is really just going to be a small dog full grown, you know, a little Yorkie or something kind of like that. So, um, so this is what, what they call the 21 inch crate. And what they mean by that is the distance from the front to the back of the crate is 21 inches. Okay, so this is typically for dogs up to 15 pounds. Okay, this one here is the 28 inch crate, which is usually for dogs between 15 and 30 pounds. Okay, so we'll say that's the small dog range. Moving into the medium, we've got the 32 inch crate, which is for dogs maybe 30 to 50 pounds. Then we've got the 36 inch crate, which is for dogs, maybe 50 to 70 pounds. So we'll consider that kind of that medium range. Moving into the large range, we're going to say that the 40 inch is for dogs, maybe 70 to 90 pounds. And the 48 inch is going to be for dogs, 90 up to 125 pounds. Okay. Now, um, those are really the main ranges. Um, the only other consideration that I think about when it comes to picking out the right crate for an adult size dog is I also want to make sure that they can stretch out very comfortably without having to contort themselves or, you know, move their head so it's not hitting the top. So those are usually my two top 
uh, things that I'm thinking about is the manufacturer's weight recommendation and what is my dog's comfort going to be like in the crate. Now, before you make any final decisions, I would probably check out my other video on picking out the right crate for an adult sized dog, um, just because I go over a couple other things that may be worth considering. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.